home brewers, welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic one. So we are outside because it is a sunny day. It's finally stopped raining and well, I need some sun on my skin. And plus, why not? I have, I have the dead cat and everything, so might as well drink some cider in the sun. It's a nice place, good view, better than a green screen because you're actually there. So yeah, five apple cider, I mean, it, uh, it's definitely carbonated. It's making that lovely drowning drum sound. I mean, it is hazy, which is what to be expected. It is an experiment, so it's unpolished, unrefined, but it doesn't look bad. I mean, if you like a hazy cider, it's, it's good, but we're more interested in how it tastes. So I've read some of your comments and uh, well, this is something I think we should make a little series about because uh, we can, it's cheap, and people want to see just how far we can take the five apple cider. So we're going to give some thoughts, some opinions. I'm not, I'm going to drink it and tell you if it tastes good because that's what we're interested in. Cheap booze that tastes good. And I'm all about the good tasting booze. So firstly, did it carbonate? Because we are using a turbo yeast. So we know it has, but just for your viewing pleasure. Yep, that is carbonated. I think it's time for a little top up. It's quite bubbly. It's a hazy cider, so it is remarkably good, I am going to say. I mean, apart from the bits, but they don't bother me because this is an experiment and we can polish it as we go. But at the same time, I do like the haze personally. I think a little bit of, um, I think not a lot of people like the hazy cider, but I do. And um, I'm the one drinking it, so I guess that's what matters. I just can't get over how good this smells. I mean, the sweet apples, the Brayburns, and those little fun size apples, they really do come through quite a lot. The Bramley apple, I'm not getting a lot of Bramley in any taste whatsoever, but it does have a sort of tannic aftertaste, very mild, just enough. So when you're drinking it, it doesn't taste sweet in the aftertaste. It is, it's very pleasant actually. I mean, I'm gonna say, if you've got five apples laying in your salad bowl or fruit bowl, whatever, and you wanna give this a go, I can recommend it. It is, it is surprisingly good. I mean, it is not a full blown cider. It is a white cider, as you can tell by the, the lack of color, but it is really good. It's like, it's only sort of, well, it was 5% um, ish. So, hmm. I can't stop drinking it. It's really tasty. Um, it worked out as about 5%, I do believe. So we will bump up the sugar because we're making a white cider. White ciders are usually a bit stronger. And I think a sort of seven, seven and a half percent, probably, you know, somewhere around that. I think that would be rather interesting to make because currently, even though it does have a mild alcoholic taste, this is a, this is a sneaky one. It is a sneaky drink because uh, it doesn't really taste alcoholic. It just tastes of fresh red apples. So it's got that red sweetness to it. And I really do think that we should play on this a bit more. I've seen in the comments, some of you, cause I did ask, should we do some more of this, polish it, see how far we can go. And um, for the most part, the response is where, yes, yes we should. Cause this is an experiment. It was literally a thought in my head and we put it into motion to see what would happen. Hence the turbo yeast. And I have to say the turbo pure, 
worked out pretty well. It finished right at one and it's, it didn't need back sweetening unless you like things a little bit sweeter, sort of the 1.010, which is sort of the sweet end of the spectrum. And even then, it, just a couple of teaspoons of sweetener and this is good to go. And before some of you say, oh, you can't add sweetener to your ciders, take a look at the side of a bottle of cider. They're pretty much all back sweetened. All of them are, to one extent or another. And I mean, this isn't aged. This is sort of like aged a few days, if we're being honest. Once it was carbonated, which was a couple of days after we did the uh, bottling video, it's really good to drink. It still tastes the same as when I had a little tipple um, when we bottled it. I mean, apart from it looks like this, it tastes pretty good. I mean, I do think a couple more apples. If we're going, if we're going to really do this, I think we'll get rid of the Bramley apples, probably, <laughs> and we will play on the red apple flavors, the sweet notes, see if we can't get a bit of a red hue to it. Because why not? We're playing. We can do a red one, we can do a green one, and those people that like the sweeter red apples, make it with the red apples. Green apples are a bit more tart, usually. So those people use the greens. We'll just play on it. And then we'll try some different yeast types, I think. Maybe try a bread yeast version. Yeah, keep that around the 5% mark. I know some people are like, oh, you can brew bread yeast up to 10, 11%. And you can, you can get higher alcohol concentrations from bread yeast, but it starts tasting like wet dog. I mean, in my humble opinion, and uh, I do like wine, that, wine, beer, cider, that tastes nice. I don't necessarily need it to be strong because you have quantity. So there, that's, that's my thoughts on that. But yeah, five apples, cider, no pectolase, turbo yeast, and it is a drinkable, non-yeasty, fresh apple flavor and alcoholic. I think that's quite nice. So um, yeah, I am surprised by the results. I was thinking it was gonna taste nasty after sitting for a few days, but as some alcohol does, you know, it changes flavor towards the end. Maybe it was gonna carry on fermenting, but it didn't, it stopped. I'm, I'm just as surprised as you. So um, yeah, I, I'm gonna keep drinking and enjoying the sun. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Stick some ideas down about some different apples or different ciders. Hell, you know, just say hello. And, uh, you know, do all those things other people that know what they're doing tell you to do. But um, carry on homebrewing, guys. I'll see you later. Just going to 